Hello, my name is Yara from Teco and I would like to show you how simply you can turn your computer into the multi-touch MIDI controller. To do this you need Windows based 64-bit computer, any touch screen could be USB connected touch screen or in your laptop built-in touch screen, then any uh, MIDI driven application like a digital audio workstation or any VJ software. In my case, uh, as an example, will be Native Instruments Tractor. And the most important thing, it's the MIDI Armada software. You can get the software from uh, web page techall.cz from the download page once the package is downloaded in your computer open the archive and double click setup exe file you can change the destination directory you have to agree with the license agreement and you can start the installation The first part of installation has been done and now you can install the virtual MIDI driver. For proper operation you need the virtual MIDI driver. You can use your own virtual MIDI driver or you can install this one distributed in our package. Okay. Installation has been successfully done. Now we can launch the Tractor software and do some setup. You can do the MIDI mapping of each controller manually or for quick start you can use TSI file provided in our installation package. To load the TSI file with the MIDI mapping to your tractor, you have to open the preferences window, go to controller manager and down here push the import button. In a case you don't see the data containing folder you have to make this folder visible. Go to the File Explorer, Local Drive, and set the radio button to show hidden files. Okay. And now you see the program data. And the program data go to directory, media armada data, TSI files, and choose media armada basic. And mapping of your tractor has been done. The mapping means this list of MIDI nodes assigned to each controller. Okay. Now we have to open the MIDI Armada player, but before we do it, just check your screen resolution. You need it for the choosing the proper file and the MIDI Armada player. You can launch the MIDI Armada player from this icon from your desktop or from the start menu. This is the introduction screen. You can load the recommended file, but in our case this is the empty file. You can open file or you can exit the application. We will open file and we will use this one with this resolution. Okay, it's in. The way 
how you can reach any other application now is to push hide button. If you don't push hide button, the Midi Armada player will be the topmost application in your system. So we will push the hide button, go back to tractor and do the last step. And the last step means selection of the proper MIDI import. So go to controller manager and select the loop MIDI port. This is the virtual MIDI port we have already installed in your system. OK. And that's all. You can see the control LED is lit when I'm using MIDI Armada. It means it connected, it's over your tractor. MIDI Armada software consists of three independent screens. In this preset, the first screen is prepared for the performance, the second screen for the track loading and the basic level setup and the last one is empty. In the future you can go to MIDI Armada editor and you can edit or prepare your own presets. Ok, so go to loading page, select some cool music, and you can start your performance. Once you have finished, just stop playing and escape the application. For this, here is the button Save and Exit. But before, some information about the setting. If you push Info button, first, here is the access for the help, and you can see. Some informations here. The first one is the NTS interval and this is a number about some physical delay uh, between uh, your interaction in touch screen and the software processing this uh, information. For the USB connected external uh, touch screen number 3 or number 4 should be OK. For the integrated touch screen in your laptop you can start with number 2 or number 3. Here you can choose the proper MIDI port. The loop MIDI port is one what we have installed as our virtual MIDI driver. Each changes in this section will be effective after restore the application. OK. And that's all. Enjoy your music.